I was an ordinary housewife, a mother. Now I'm a grandmother. And I didn't know. I, I didn't ever have a high school, I mean a college education. I had a high school, but I was no Bible scholar. But God handpicked me for this journey. And every night he would bring me back around five in the morning and I'd cry and I'd weep. And then the next day he would take me again from two to five. And on one of the journeys into hell, he took me to the belly of hell. And the belly of hell was 17 miles high and three miles around. There was like um, stacked on top of each other jail cells. And you could see skeletons inside there burning and screaming and crying. And inside this place were souls of witches, warlocks, uh, demonic powers, people that use demonic powers to destroy people, and also the ones that served idolatry. And they would actually, there was a dirt ledge in front, like four feet around, and Christ would speak and we would run, not run, we would move up by his power, you know, because God has all power. And we would go from level to level and Christ would talk to him. And he came to this one man that was burning. He was screaming. He was on his knees. The Lord said he was on the earth. He was blind. He's blind in hell. He said he used his handicap to seduce many for witchcraft. I said, how did he do that, Lord? Because I didn't know. He said, child, what he did, he would, uh, he would work curses on them. And he would tell them, give them money for his handicap and things. And all the time, he's doing his witchcraft on these people, like young people, a lot of young people, he said, teenagers and things. And they didn't know because they had compassion on him. And he said, these things are true. Said he did his witchcraft and the man heard him and he said, yes, I did. And I heard the gospel many times, but rejected you. He said, I never understood the sorrows of hell said, I served the devil on the earth. And when I died, this has been my torment. I've been here for years and years, wishing I had listened to the gospel, wishing I had uh, told the truth, wishing, I'm sorry, I've been told the truth so I could escape this place of damnation. So this is what I learned. Even people in the occult, they come to my services. They think they're going to do harm to us. And God turns it around and saves them by many, many. Because they think that they're going to have a kingdom when they go to hell. They don't have a kingdom. The devil says, do you think that I uh, would give you a kingdom, share my kingdom with you? The devil tells them, I hate you as much as Christians. And there they're burning in hell. 